Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show y'all how I make a ribeye sandwich. I've got some ribeye steaks that we're gonna get seasoned and on the grill. We're gonna to top them with some mushrooms, some onions, some provolone cheese, and I put together a roasted garlic mayo that's gonna tie it all together, served on Texas toast. This is gonna be a great football sandwich. Let's get to cooking. So for this recipe, I picked up a couple ribeye steaks from the grocery store and I wanted them on the smaller size. These are eight to 10 ounce ribeyes. You can see they're not too thick, but they're perfect for a ribeye sandwich. So the first thing we're gonna do to these ribeyes is get them tenderized. And I've got a little onion slicer gadget. I'm getting a little double duty out of. I'm using it to kind of just poke some holes in these ribeyes and that's gonna make them tender. Don't poke your fingers because this thing is pretty sharp and these ribeyes are feeling great. I'm just going in the meat a little bit. And what this does, it makes it easier to bite them. It spreads them out a little bit for when we cook them. They're gonna cook really fast. They'll get their shape back a little, just form them up. But that looks perfect to me on that one. And you could use a jacquard for this, but I like the little onion slicer because it's small and it's quick. Now we're gonna get a little salt and pepper action going on these steaks. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some kosher salt and some coarse ground black pepper. That's our first layer of flavor we're putting on them. A little more pepper for my liking on that one. We'll pat that in a little bit. And we're also gonna hit them with some Worcestershire, just a little bit. This is gonna bring some flavor and a little balsamic vinegar. So we're kind of giving them a quick little marinade. I'm just patting that in a little bit. Let it work into the meat and we're gonna flip them over, do the exact same thing on this backside. Good sprinkle of kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper, a little Worcestershire and a little balsamic vinegar. Now our steaks are ready to go. We're just gonna let them hang out here on the cutting board while we fire up our grill and we saute the mushrooms and the onions. Now for this cook, I'm firing up my Weber kettle. I've got a chimney full of Royal Oak briquettes. We're just gonna get those going with a couple tumbleweed fire starters. After about 15 minutes, those coals will be hot. And then we're gonna dump them in the Weber and we're gonna create a two zone fire. I'm gonna put all the hot coals on one side and then just for a space separator, I'm gonna add a half size aluminum pan. That's just gonna create that void, create that cool side on the grill. We're gonna get our grate in place, let it heat up. Then we're gonna be ready to start cooking. So we got the grill good and hot. I'm just gonna add an iron skillet to the hot side. And I've got a pat of butter, about a tablespoon of olive oil. We're just gonna get this good and hot and melt it down so we can saute these mushrooms and onion. Get them all in there. We're gonna season them with a little of that black pepper, a couple pinches, a little kosher salt. Then we're gonna go some dashes of Worcestershire sauce all around. Give it a little bit of liquid to cook down these mushrooms and onions a little bit. That looks good. Just give it a little stir. We're gonna close the lid and we're gonna let these start to cook down. And as they caramelize, as they brown up, we're gonna move this skillet over to the cool zone and then we're gonna put our steaks on and get them cooking. It's been about three minutes. Onions and mushrooms are doing good. You just wanna stir them every so often. Make sure they're not sticking to the bottom, but we got the butter and olive oil. That's just gonna make them good. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. This is how I want them. See, most of that moisture's cooked away. Everything's gotten really soft. The onions have browned up. I don't want them to go too far. Still want them to have some texture. And let me just get one out here. Oh, this will be hot. Blow it a little bit. Mmm, that's good texture. We're just gonna scoot everything up to the top part of the skillet. I'm just gonna take the spatula and slide it right up to this cool zone. Give it a few minutes to recover in our hot area. And we'll be ready to grill these ribeye steaks. So the ribeyes have been marinating for about 45 minutes. That's perfect time for all those flavors to work in. I'm gonna hit them with one last seasoning right before I put them on the grill. Just a little steak rub to give them a little bit more texture. It's got that salt, it's got that pepper, but it's got coarser onions and garlics and other herbs in it to really give it some flavor. I'll just pat that in a touch and we'll hit the backside as soon as we put these on the grill. We're just gonna start our ribeyes off right on this hot zone. Make sure they got good contact on the grill grate. It's good and hot, you can hear them sizzling. Same thing for this one, just put it right there, don't move it too much. And we're just gonna cook these about two minutes on each side is all it's gonna take. So I'm gonna close the lid, start me a timer. All right, just after a minute, we're gonna go ahead and get a turn on these steaks. So we can put some good looking grill marks on them. Right back down. And they are cooking fast, it's not gonna take long. We'll go a minute on this side, it'll be time to flip them. Close the lid. All right, two minutes total cook time. It's time to flip these ribeyes. Still got them on the hot side. We're gonna go another two minutes and we'll be done. Last turn on our ribeyes. And they are just about there. They're feeling right. We're gonna go one more minute and make some sandwiches. All right, so we're ready to get these ribeyes off. 
I still want them on the rare side, rare to medium rare, because we're gonna put them on this other iron skillet. This is where we're gonna top them with our mushrooms and onions. I'm gonna go right on top of our steaks here with the mushroom and onion mixture. That looks good. Oh yeah, a little bit more there. We'll set them right back here. Then we're gonna top these steaks with a little provolone cheese. Just got some thin slices. Still have them off the heat. We're gonna let that residual heat from the mushrooms, the onions, kind of melt this cheese just for maybe 30 seconds tops. Let's close the lid to keep some of that heat in and we'll get these off in just a second. All right, so after 30 seconds, you can see the provolone's melted. Just wanna get this iron skillet off the board. We're gonna take it over to the cutting board. Now I could eat these ribeyes just like this. I mean, the mushrooms, the onion, the provolone melted over the top. But let me show you how we turn it into a steak sandwich. I've got some Texas toast that we brushed with a little bit of garlic butter and just popped in the oven to brown up. And I'm gonna put a little bit of roasted garlic mayo. And I used a whole head of roasted garlic in this mayonnaise. That's gonna be kind of our foundation. We're gonna put some of that on one side of the bread. I'm gonna go ahead and do the top side too. Gotta have some on both sides. Just spread it out. Now we're ready for the ribeye. I'm just got a spatula. We're gonna go in here on this hot skillet, pick it up, set that steak right on top of that toast. Put the other piece of toast on top. Now I need to slice it up for you. So what I'm gonna do is just get my big brisket knife here. We're going right through that steak. And now let's open it up. And if that doesn't look like a steak sandwich, I don't know what does. I'm gonna build another one. Go with the mayo, roasted garlic, a little hot sauce, lots of black pepper, both sides of the toast. We're not skimping here. We're ready for our steak. Scoop it up right on top. And I don't know about y'all, but I want more meat than bread on my sandwiches. Top piece. So before I try this sandwich, real quick what we did, we started with two ribeye steaks, about eight to 10 ounces each. We seasoned them with salt and pepper, a little balsamic, a little Worcestershire, and let them hang out for about 45 minutes. We sauteed up some baby sliced portobello mushrooms, some onions, and a little olive oil and butter. We got those caramelized, and then we grilled our steaks for just two minutes on each side. We wanted them that medium rare. We topped them with the mushrooms and onions. We put the provolone on top, let it melt, all served with the roasted garlic mayo on the Texas toast. I can't wait to try this one. I know it's gonna be messy, and I know it's gonna be good. I mean, just look at that. That steak's juicy. It's got the cheese on it, the mushrooms. Oh, man. There we go. Best part, the spinalis. Mm. Oh, man. That's so tender. Wow. Y'all gotta give me a minute. Mmm. Woo. That's a bona fide sandwich right there. I can eat this whole thing. Mmm. The mushrooms, the onions. I know I got it all over me. I don't care. The roasted garlic mayo brings it all together with the creaminess. Steaks cook perfect and the Texas toast stands up. It doesn't get soggy. And using that onion slicer to really tenderize the steak made it to where it's bite through. Now typically you'd probably see a steak sandwich sliced and then topped with the mushrooms, but I wanted this to be a man steak sandwich. And we cooked it a little under because I knew I was gonna let it sit on that iron skillet and let the cheese melt. So that brought it up. Made for a perfect grilled ribeye steak sandwich. Y'all wanna try this one. Hey, if you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And me and Shell wrap up the whole week with our podcast on Fridays. We'll see y'all next time. Man, this is a world food sandwich right here. I don't know what else to say about it. Hmm. You're going to have to give me some minutes. I got to eat this. That's the best sandwich I've ever made in my life. That's better than bologna right there. Hmm.